What up, everybody? Welcome back to Black Ram GX Gaming. We're here. We're live. We're doing, uh... <clears throat> we're finishing up the story here in the second area for Pokemon Legends Arceus today. Uh, maybe finishing up a few Pokedex entries. Probably. I mean, you do some every single day. Uh, messing around. Doing the usual. And, yeah, that's about that. I think, I think we're most of the way through the second area. So we should be getting to the new area at least halfway through the stream today. But no promises. We'll see what happens. Anyway, if you're joining us for the first time, even after the stream, please do me a favor and drop a follow. Uh, if you've been here before, drop a like, share, comment, stars, whatever you feel like doing, however you want to support. And uh, if you're over there on YouTube, thanks for watching. I see you. Um, if you're new over there, subscribe. goes a long way as well. Love it. And uh, leave a like and a comment. Check out the uh, YouTube if you're over here on Facebook, Black Ram GX Gaming. Uh, where we put up the full stream every single day, so you can check out a bunch of our old stuff, plenty of different games we played, and watch all of our great shorts that we put up, uh, one to two of a day. Uh, if you're over there on YouTube, Black Ram GX Gaming here on uh, Facebook, 6 to 9 Central Standard Time, Monday through Thursday, we're live all the time. Come check it out. So, let's get to it. Alright, so, picking up right where we left off. I don't remember what I was doing. We got Lilligant, Gallade, and Torterra we're working on to finish in the Pokedex here. And unknown, I guess, but a lot of that we can't do. Trying to use Ursaluna to get the Peat block that's hidden somewhere in the ground here that'll help us get our own Ursaluna, not one that we can just ride on. Um, yeah, so that's that. Let's see, what are we working on quest-wise now? Ride on Ursaluna and follow the blue signals to sniff out a Rezu in the Crimson Mylands. See, I don't know who that is or what that is. Oh, and we also have to do that quest. Since he's right here, we'll just jump on over and figure out what he's up to. I do remember where we were and what we were doing. We were getting a uh, bag for somebody. No satchels. You must have to be in the game for a little bit. And by the way, cheers. We have a unique thing today where my forehead and the rest of my face and body isn't disappearing when I get too close to the camera. No difference. I don't know why it's happening. I just noticed that before the stream. It's kind of cool. You can't figure out any winning strategy with a tiny squirrel. Hmm. Do you want... Oh, he wants to go? The, another Pachirisu? I don't know how to say it. Alright! <laughs> you asked for this. Mine's just a little bit bigger. Kayla, thank you for the like. Cheers. No, no other Pokemon? Ugh. Let's order these guys so we can put them right back in. Oops. be able to grab them all at once. Alright. Ah, let's do this. Let's see a battle against the mighty Ursa Ring. Uh-oh. 
Where did you just find this thing for me to fight? Where did you get this giant bear? Cheat if I have to, I'll grab his tail. Alright, I didn't have to cheat. Ooh. My squirrel beat up a giant bear. All good. Now he said, let's start with. So I have to do a series of these fights? And aren't they gonna get worse? Jason Jones, thank you for the like. How are you doing? Cheers. Thank God. If I had to do another tiny squirrel on giant bear fight, I don't think it was going to go well. Luckily, it wasn't high level. And I luckily had an apex. Whoops, not you. You. that out of the way oh I can do this I can do this Actually, I think you're worth quite a good amount. Let's go. I think you can get a good uh, EXP candy from him. Could be wrong, but I think so. Oh. Ah, the block. It's not so bad. Tried to cheese it, didn't work. The key to avoiding these fights is to just keep going. Pretend it didn't happen. worth a good amount too but I don't know who I have that's gonna be super good against him maybe Torterra yes yes either way and you smack him in the back. This should be fine. We'll get one more free hit. And then we'll see if I can... Oh. JK, he got two hits back to back. He stunned for one and then hit me. Well, then that should end it. Let's see what he drops me. Another block. I'll take it. Something else around here I can dig up. Come on, Pete Block. What's with all these candy truffles? Don't be excited. It's not something. Come on. Let's 
So I think whatever we're looking for here is in the bogs. I might as well just rest quick. Get that Torterra's health up. No big deal. Chunk, nice. Whoa! Oh, that's got homing. Dang, we gotta fight now. I didn't want to have to do that, but Stunky gave me no choice. Oh wow, psychic moves don't hurt him. Oh, because he's part normal. Strong move of that. Right over here is where we found that shiny Geodude. Candy Truffle. Hey, it's you. The person or thing or place I was looking for. Found him. Marcus, hey, good to see you again, buddy. Thank you for the like. How are you doing? Cheers. Oh, and the cheers. Thank you. Double cheers. Double cheers. That's really cold. Long time no see. Sup, brother. How are you doing? What's been going on? What's new with you? Happy streaming. Hey, I will be. Happy uh, hanging out and gaming and doing all the things you do. Always good to see you dropping by.
Why am I getting signed up for everything? How about you guys take care of it this time? And I'm gonna go over there to uh, take a nice little vacation. No, don't nod your head yes. Now I'm stuck. Marcus, yeah, I've been busy uh, at work. I'm fully loaded with paperwork. Now, that's no fun. Sorry to hear that. But, well, that's all right. Probably making tons of money, right? Can't argue with that. Holy cannoli. Didn't know it could do that. Um... <clears throat> Let's go with our giant deer. Are you still at the same place you were at a while back? Um, remember you were telling me about it for a little bit. But I can't quite remember all that you said you were doing. This is not bueno. We're taking a lot of hits from this skunt. It literally makes fart noises. Well, we can win this fight. I never noticed this Togetic that I could catch.
I mean, I noticed it in yesterday's stream, but it was still a ways after uh, his relevancy. Up the hill? Party greens, boo! Get after him, cheers. That sucks. Thank God. That thing was about to cream my team's corn. if there's a specific spot that this peat block comes up in or if it's completely random. Sounds like it's completely random. Which that part's fine. As long as I know it'll come up eventually. Uncanny love, buddy. What's happening? Tough question. I forgot. Don't know it. <laughs> it seems like everyone knows this one. Everyone's gotten it right so far. So if you've guessed, you're correct. Um, I didn't think it was too bad. This one I got right. So I'm two for two in the last two days. I was wrong on Monday. What up, what up? Did you win that next game of... Uh, the rematch, I should say, against, what was his name? Something but. Oh, I know. Because that guy got lucky the first game against you. Toddy Butt or something like that? Todd Butt? Kind of a funny name. I did against the Super Saiyan God. Nice. Them's the ones you want to do it to. Like... The guy was using a character that was a god? Or like he's a god at the game. Please 
rest. Oh, nice. Someone was telling me the other day that there's a new football league coming out. The USFL. I think it was a failed league before. My buddy just sent me a picture of the teams and <laughs> trying to decide what's going to be the new team. Who's your team? Who are you going with? I really haven't heard much about him other than a couple people talking about him. This is bad. There's so many, so many enemies. Only two that matter. Okay. William, thank you for the shares. Appreciate it. Let's see. The Michigan Panthers. New Jersey Generals. Philadelphia Stars. The Pittsburgh Maulers. It's a guy with a sledgehammer going over his back. Birmingham Stallions? Where's Birmingham? The Houston Gamblers? New Orleans Breakers? And the Tampa Bay Bandits? I kind of dislike them all. I might go Michigan Panthers because it's the only thing now close to me. The only Midwest team. Panthers. I mean, there's already so many Panthers teams out there. A nice little trade there, I guess. Hmm. I hope I don't actually have to fight this thing because I, all my guys are getting run down ragged. Run down ragged. I don't know if that's a phrase, but I'm using it. Bye. you to take care of? Ugh. Usually there isn't both. No, not Shadow Ball! Think about all these apexes, almost all of them have moves that literally can absolutely destroy Typhlosion. My starter is terrible. Had I known 
That he wasn't just going to be a straight fire, that they're going to make some ghost hybrid version. I might not have picked him. He's kind of hot garbage. And I want to like him. But he gets like one hit KO'd by everybody. Ground types, rock types, water types. Uh, ghost types, psychic types, I mean you name it. He literally has more weaknesses than strengths. Pete Block, God bless America. Luck Train has not hit me yet on finding this P-Block. All right, let's do this thing. Cheers. Calaba. Oh, easy peasy. How hard could she be? Actually, could be pretty difficult. Hmm. This is a grass type. I believe bugs are good against grass. I can use cleaver, so I'll use the last one. Doesn't seem so bad. Oh. Wish mine could do that. Lady of the Ridge. Terrifying. Hey, Mike, thank you for the like. How are you doing, buddy? You press the Y button to dodge, you'll become invulnerable to Pokemon attacks for a brief moment. Dodge with just the right timing to pass through incoming attacks without taking any damage. Oh. Take this. Oh. I tried to toss and dodge too quickly. That is a no-go. It worked that time, actually. Whoa! Good thing for that old invincibility. Ah! I probably should dodge through it and not away from it. What's with the Super Saiyan talk, huh? <laughs> Uh, Uncanny there is a streamer, and he was playing, um, uh, in some sort of Dragon Ball Z fighter game. I don't know. I never, um, played it, and I actually grew up out in the country with the old Farmer 5, so I've never even watched the show, but I was watching him play earlier, and some guy named, like, Tommy Butts or something like that was kicking his butt. And then they did a rematch, so I had to ask him, I'm like, hey, should kick his ass in that rematch. I'm sure he did. Xenoverse 2? Probably? I'm not sure. 
Fun Candy's still here, he can tell you. I assume that's what it is. It's like a 2D fighter game. It's kind of cartoonish looking. Which, I mean, it's a Dragon Ball Z is, so... Oh! God, I am not dodging these things well. Oh, thank God. I was getting trounced. Wait, are you a fan? Have you played it? Too easy. Thank you, Levon, for the like. Cheers. Other than Fighter Z, I think that's the only other one game with the God Forms. Oh, maybe, maybe it's Fighter Z. I don't know. He jumps around between a couple of games. So I guess I've never paid attention. I don't know the all of them that are out there. I know there was quite a few different ones. Should have done the dub the voices for this one. Since there's so many different people talking. I keep talking about doing it and I tried it once. And I was just really bad. This is kind of sad. Lee D. Fighter Z is like Mortal Kombat style fighting. Xenoverse 2, you can create your own character. I'm pretty sure that it's Fighter Z. Because I didn't see made up characters. Not that I would know, actually, what's a made up character and what's not. Take back my previous statement. I have no idea. But probably fighters. That sounds right. Uh. Well, if we call him out, he'll come back. I can't click on his name and ask. Damn it. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. I don't know if I can either. No, I can't. But you know what I can do? I can like his comments, and he'll see that. He'll get a notification. Maybe he'll come back from that. I don't know. Got Marcus to come back for a second. Yeah, 
A Michael Payne. Isn't Fighter Z uh, made by the creators of Street Fighter? Oh, I have no idea if it is. Might be. I'd be curious. I mean, I guess they kind of seem similar. Do they still make Street Fighters? I feel like I haven't seen it. Maybe I haven't paid attention. My fighting game of choice has always been Mortal Kombat. Um, which I didn't really start playing those till 9 on the 360. The first time I got one. Played it against some friends. It was a lot of fun. Because I was pretty good at it. And uh, they weren't as good at it, so... You know, when you win a lot, it's a lot of fun. Playing online was a lot of fun, but... Ah. Some of those people online in any of those fighting games are just insane. The combos they can lay down on people and that they just never have to break the combos. And just keep you in the air, juggle you, and... It's game over in two hits. Well, depending on who gets the first hit. I've never been good enough to do those combos. I can get like half of one, but the amount of practice you gotta put in too. It's absolutely wild. I was playing Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter on the SNES at the age of seven. Oh shit. Same. I, uh, I played the old ones a little bit. Uh, with some friends who were much older and definitely played them back in the day because they knew how to get the uh, perfectly timed uppercuts and everything. When you're not used to those older, slower controls, it's tough. Um, it was about three, three weeks ago, I think. Me and my girlfriend played that in an old arcade and... I've just forgot about how tough it is and how quickly you lose your health. Those uppercuts are mean. It takes like, what, three? Three in the old SNES versions to pretty much be knocked out. What's my moral, our favorite Mortal Kombat game? The Deadly Alliance came out on the PSP called Unchained. Oh, um, let's see, what would mine be? I feel like nine. Nine's got to be my favorite. I played that the most. I put a lot of time into it. And it kind of brought back that love of the game for me. Because I watched, I think, the movie from the 90s before I even played the game. No, that's not true. I played the game first. But... I just remember the movie from the 90s. I never saw the second one, Armageddon. But the first one was a classic. It's, in a lot of ways, really funny, too. So, <laughs> that one always brings me back to it. If I <laughs> ever see that movie on somewhere, I have to watch it, and then all of a sudden I'm playing the game. Um... I like 10 and 11. I didn't get 11 myself. I had a buddy who had it. I think 11's the newest one, right? If I'm not mistaken. Um, and every time we hang out, we'll play like 20 matches. We'll just keep going. And it's so fun. Second movie had more CGI in it. You know, I just, I never got to the point of watching it, and I heard so many people say about how bad it was, don't watch it, don't waste your time. So, I just never have, I, I mean, I've watched like, maybe a quarter of it or something, and then fallen asleep. It was so good. Well, that's the first good review I've heard. 
But I mean, I just gotta watch it to give it my uh, own opinion on it. Do you like the new movie? The one that came out, was it last year? Because I heard they got another one coming out after that. It took them a while to get to the point of admitting that there's a new one coming out. Uh, follow up, but... Uh, parts of it were meh, but for the most part, it was pretty pretty good. Hell yes. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I don't know how I felt about the new character, but I liked having like the backstory shown for Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero was a boss. Um... Let's see who else. Jax. I like Jax. They did really well with him. And I thought, obviously, Kano stole the show. Kano was the best part. Which is pretty hard to accept, but Mortal Kombat 9, Kano was one of the best. I think his X-Ray did, like, the top damage. You're gonna say that? <laughs> it was made in Adelaide? Adelaide. Where's that? That wasn't Sub Zero's his brother Noob. Oh, that's. Well, technically, yeah. I mean, there's the first Sub Zero, then he dies, and then he becomes Noob or something. I can't remember how the story goes exactly. Does the story ever change? Sounds like you know the games better than me. Does the story and the backstories ever change between the games? South Australia, that seems right. Just based on the general atmosphere there. Yeah, it does. Okay, I thought so. Noob was one of my favorite characters in Mortal Kombat 9 because just doing the up-down move <laughs> where you would just teleport and hit the other person. Uh, that frustrated a lot of people, which made me happy. And then, once my friends figured out how to block it, it sucked. I wasn't a good enough noob character to adjust. Noob main. All I know is that the name fit at the time, because you didn't have to be that good to be good with him. see if I learn these moves. You live there? Oh, hell yeah. Nice. How are things going over there right now? Over here, we're getting piled on with snow and ice. Uh, we had about, uh, probably have different measurements, but like a quarter, quarter inch of snow. any of these recover yes about half an inch of or a quarter inch of ice on my car it's awful it's hot scorpion fan scorpion is one of the best i feel like he's too generic sometimes so i don't want to use him also he's super easy to use or at least he was a nine but the uh different forms where there's like the three different forms of the characters that you can use I found to be interesting. Uh, Raiden. Raiden's always been my number one guy, though. Absolutely love Raiden, and I had to really learn to control myself and not do the uh, Superman charge too much, because once they know that's coming, you're done. You know, it's a quick block and uh, uppercut each and every time. So I had to get really good at just his combos and had to really move away from his power moves. But he had really good combos. He had one that I learned really well that just goes straight through blocks. So, oh, felt good. I would just spam those. I had to use, I don't know about you, 
when I play fighting games like that. Got a lot of friends who play it on PlayStation. I can't do it on PlayStation. Because I can't use the um, sticks. I have to use the uh, D-pad. And on PlayStation, there's a space between the D-pad. So as you're moving through real fast, you're quick hitting a bunch of different buttons. just tears the skin on my thumb apart. But Xbox, it's one solid button. So I, I have to use a Xbox controller. Dark or normal Raiden? Ooh, good question. Um, I'd say I gotta go Dark Raiden, you know? Regular Raiden's cool, but something about that red lightning and the black suit, it's just so cool. I can't not do it. So if I ever get the costume choice, I pick that. I had to go hard to unlock that. I think in 9. I think I eventually got it in 9, but... I had to spend a lot of time in the story and in the crypt. Yes, another star. Hmm. What did you think about uh, the Scorpion Johnny Cage fight in the original Mortal Kombat? It was pretty wild. The CGI on that was crazy. Where it, it like the uh, what do you call it? It's right on the tip of my tongue. His kunai, kunai. That's right. The thing that he throws out when he does his get over here where it comes out of his hand and it's like a snake fine thing. I thought that was really weird, but it's kind of funny. My favorite thing is uh, <laughs> anything in that movie with Goro. Goro versus Art, the random guy that he just beats up and kills. That fight is hysterical. I've watched it so many times. <clears throat> the, the Goro animatronic thing that they had in the original movie was just so good. I can't help it uh, but to just love that thing. And he gets whacked in the nuts and just easily taken out by Johnny Cage. That was so good. Now I feel like I gotta watch that. Maybe this weekend. Everyone needs help. They did the Goro and Johnny fight in the original movie. So funny. Exactly. Oh. That was some of the best. They put uh, the same fight scenes in the games as well. I thought so. Reminds me of... Uh, Reptile in the first movie. A completely CGI, almost claymation. Like, dinosaur thing that comes out of a statue. That was great. I think, I don't think... Whoa. He was in the new one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like that fight. Beats up everybody and Kano ends up getting, pulling his heart out or something. Does the old Kano wins? There's so many lines on the new one. That's what I think I liked about it the most. Just so many quotable lines. Holy daddies. That's a lot of stuff. I thought so. You know they did completely dirty in the new movie though was uh what's her name? Is it Huntress or something like that? Uh, 
I can't remember. The, like, demon lady with wings. Who they flawless victory on. Spoiler alert to anyone who hasn't watched the movies, but you've had quite some time, so... Not that sorry. Mastering moves, but not going up at all. Hmm. Michael, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it, brother. With you on Australia, I've got a follower from, well, another continent. It's pretty nice. We've got the, you, North America, Europe, Asia, Australia. we got to get someone from Africa and South America now. <laughs> and then what's going to be really hard is finding someone in uh, Antarctica. But they're there. They're there. got a buddy who's down there i need to i'll have to reach out to him went down there to do like maintenance for uh one of the research teams he said he went down during covid for like six months or something like that and it's kind of like mostly during their summer which i think is like five months long and then during their winter which is like seven months i, I believe i could be wrong there's just like no leaving nobody comes there and you're just stuck there he's like well there seems to be uh, COVID and a lot of lockdowns happening. I'm just going to stay in Antarctica. He came back for a little bit and went back there. I think they got their first COVID case like a month or two ago. Well, maybe even longer than that, but stayed out of there for a long time. They say that all the people that died or that are dead may not stay dead. What's that quote from? I feel like I know that quote, but I can't think of what, uh, I think I'm thinking of Game of Thrones, What is Dead May Never Die. Is that Game of Thrones? I think so. Is that the right quote? Something close. Piping hot potato mochi, fresh from the stove. The end of Mortal Kombat. Ah. I just gotta say, is the Shao Kahn fights, I remember in 9 particularly, those fights you have to be as cheap as possible in. The first one, when you're Liu Kang, it's shooting fireballs as much as you can in the final one. It's uh, shooting thunderballs or whatever over and over and over and over again, standing in the far back and just hitting them with that after about the 100th one. And when your thumbs are thoroughly destroyed, you finally got them. Is this the game? Sounds like an animal snoring. I thought there was something behind me for a second. No, we're good. Scatterbangs. One pod pop. One pop pod. I'm dyslexic. I would totally mess that up. One caster fern leaf. Come now. Don't worry yourself so, my girl. Alright. Doesn't even look like potato mochi. Looks like thick pancakes. I don't know what potato mochi looks like, to be honest. It's definitely real life. My cat's sleeping right over there. Snoring super loud. 
can't see her because she's all black and she's in the darkness. Oh, she's gonna work it. Oh, so I got new hairstyles. You know, they really trick you at this hair styling place. Because if you go there and you just want to check out the hairstyles, you gotta pay them first. It's bullshit. The cricket tot sound in the game when you battle its alpha is a meme. Oh, that is absolutely wild. Um. The alpha, what is it called? Hot bunny or something like that? It was the bunnery in Lop, Lop Bunny. The noise that one made was wild. I laughed so hard and I couldn't help myself. I didn't even realize I did it. <laughs> I had to imitate the sound, but I had a voice mod on changing my voice. And uh, I turned that into a YouTube short. I couldn't help it. It was so funny. And I didn't realize I did it till I looked back and watched the stream again. And I'm like, oh my god. What was I doing? <laughs> they make just weird noises and you kind of want to do them. <laughs> So have you played this one, Michael? If you had, who'd you pick as your starter? Because I totally regret mine. You did send it? See, I thought he was just going to turn into regular Typhlosion. I don't know if you heard me ranting about that earlier, but it was really upsetting about how many weaknesses he has. So many weaknesses, and with so much um, variety to the types of moves that Pokemon can learn now. You know, they don't have to stick to grass normal and maybe they're secondary. They can kind of have a little bit of everything. Ugh. He just gets shredded all the time. And he can be 20 levels higher. And he'll still get one hit by things. I'm trying to 100% the decks before I finish the areas. Hey, I'm trying to do the same. Um, I've gotten everything I can uh, that I know of that's out there. And for me... I don't like to finish the story or continue the story when I still have work to do. Like, if I beat the whole game and the whole story and I still have work to do collecting the decks, it's, it just doesn't feel as fulfilling. Like, I need that big fi finale, the big finish at the end, uh, even though I'll be grossly overpowered for it by the time I get there. Like, everything in the story I've done so far, when people want to challenge me or if I get to these, um, I forget what you call them, our guardian Pokemon, big guys, the grass dancer thing I just beat up, and Cleavor. You know, they're so weak. They're all 20, 30 levels behind me. So I kind of wish that the story had, like, um, it could kind of track your progress and whatever level your team is it somehow balances to that to make it challenging. No, 100% each Pokemon? What do you mean? Just like completing them like this? I've got at least their entry. I don't know if I'm going to 100% all check marks. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, definitely not. 
Um, I've only got these four left. Unknown, you know what it is. Nope. Nope. Ursa Luna I need, but I've discovered that uh, in my pursuit to figure out how to get them, once you 100%, they get a shiny charm. Whoa. Is that good for anything? What does that do? Does it just significantly increase the chance of finding a shiny version of them? Hmm. This guy needs to learn close combat already. Yes? Ah, okay. I hear you. What I'm surprised about <clears throat> is the very high number of um, Wow, I completely forgot where I was going to go with that. Anyway, there's a lot of shinies that seem to be easier to find. I got a shiny Geodude yesterday. Right after I used a linking cable, I found in a time warp zone. Um, on a apex. Let's see, I found the shiny one. And I used it on an apex graveler. I was like, well, why not just do the apex? He's the bigger one. Then I find the shiny one just a little bit later. It's unfortunate because I definitely would have made him my guy. I found a shiny drift loon right by the Highlands camp in Obsidian Fieldlands. And of course the ponytail. Uh, you can buy them? You can buy shinies or the charms? So I'm guessing to make this fourth field, we're going to need something strong that can move those rocks. You know, like the Drifloon backstory? Yeah, that, uh, the little one that was with the kid out in the, by the beach. It's kind of weird. And super short. Some of these quests are super short to the point where they're like, I don't know, nothing crazy. They feel a little lackluster at times, I guess. Link cable. Yeah, I got fortunate enough that I found one in the uh, time distortion. Because I've got enough points to buy items that'll get these guys, but looking at the Pokédex, it talks about catching an alpha version and feeding them and stuff like that. So I gotta assume most of the item evolutions you'll be able to find at some point or another. So I'm really saving up those points for whatever at the end I haven't found an item for or found straight up. this one. When you find people's bags, you get credit, and then you buy all the Evo items. Yes, sir. I've got a... Uh, I've got quite a good amount. Let me see. 1905. So I got enough to get anything. But I've also found in the time distortions you'll find one or two of those items uh, every time. And some of the mods. Like, I found a Steelix two days ago in a time distortion. That was awesome. So now if I get um, the metal coat, I can just use it to get a scissor instead. That's if I have to buy one. Maybe I'll find another one. I found three protectors to get the uh, Rhyperions.
Oh, shenanigans, because I don't have them on me. What was that other quest? Cherim, haven't found it. Wisps. Find Wanda. I don't have the raspberry on me. Nice. I probably have the full 20, so I'm... That's got to be patch... I like that if you evolve a base Pokemon to the second form, it classes as both Pokemon evolving. I do like that. That helps out a lot for getting some of these Pokédex entries done. Curls like a spring. Ah, curls like a spring. Do I have that? Anyone like that? Curls like that. You can't really see the tails well from here. Hmm. So we, all we need to do is an evolve. Uh, is he evolved Geodude? Exactly. Once I evolve him, I'll have to get another link cable because I wasted it on this guy. And Typhlosion, Cleaver, and Weird Deer are the three that I want to keep in my party and keep getting them experience and getting them better. Galay, Torterra, and Lilligant. Those three, they're just not learning the moves I need them to learn so I can get them done in the Pokedex. I think they're the only thing I'm working on in the Pokedex right now, yeah. All, everything else is done that I have. I really like Rhyperior. Rhyperior. Call him Rhyperion. Anyway. He was really cool. But yeah. I'd love to get him all the way up. It wouldn't take too long to get Drifloon up. It's like, what, 30? 31, 32? Somewhere in there. And Ponyta, I think. I don't know if that is actually like 40 you gotta get him up to. But. Springy Tail. I'm just gonna look this up. I probably don't have it. Okay, so it's a uh, spoink. That's kind of what I thought in my head, but I didn't even know if they were going to be in this game. Maybe they meant something else. Got most of my alphabet here. These are my four trading guys. Nothing special, but might see what's out there. Need another linking cable for him. The metal coat, the peat block, and I don't remember the stone, but I don't have it. So once I have those things, I'll have to work on these four as well. But since I don't, there's nothing to work on right now. And not Graveler. So when they evolve, they stay shiny then, right? I haven't evolved a shiny before, and I've never really had a shiny in other games. They weren't so easy. Like, this one, they sent you up with the Ponyta. Yes, okay. Thank God. Thank you, sir. Um, yeah, they sent you up with that Ponyta right away. They're super cool. I like what you see? Well, stop looking. They're my mods. Lissy, what's happening? Togepi, what's up? One shiny? Oh, we're shiny. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I actually, I did find a Wurmple, too. I tried to get it. And I made a mistake. My mistake was that I tried to catch it by just running up on it. It's a fairly dumb move. Um, and then, so that way it couldn't escape or run away, I decided to fight it. Because a lot of Pokemon won't run away in a fight. I forgot that Wurmple will run away, and it ran away before I could get a move off. I didn't even get to throw a ball, and it was gone. 
two Hapos, three Hardy Greens. One res. Perfect. Clothing lady. You found a lot run? Yeah, I started using my, um, like with the Geodude, you may have seen I had, uh, wherever the long range balls are called. Feather ball, the jet ball. I started using those just because if I'm at a range, I want to ensure that I get them. Ooh, I don't have that. I should have paid attention. If you hit them with a Pokeball, they get confused. What I've noticed is, <clears throat> if you can catch them once and get behind where they were, um, you can just keep hitting them in the back the moment they get out. You don't have to wait at all. When they're frustrated and they're confused for that second, you can just keep wailing them over and over and over and over again, and eventually you'll get them. That's how I've gotten Pokemon out of the air, like Togetic or uh, Togekiss. Um, and spots they're flying around in I just whack them out of the air and then I get ready and as soon as they break out if they break out hit them again aren't those flappy things its wings oh boy I did the same with three Gyarados. Yeah, um, I wasn't sure if they had like a temporary immunity when they got out of the ball when I first was using them against Gyarados. And there isn't as many Sky Stones or Rocks or Ore or whatever that you can mine in the first area before you have a uh, Weird Deer. I didn't have them yet. I had like 10 balls to try. So I did not... Uh, I did not play around. We'll just say that. Which ultimately led to me missing a lot, because I'd wait for it to do its rotation for every hit. Samuel, thank you for the like. Appreciate it. Sam, you did the same. Yeah, I I just didn't have enough balls to um, pokeballs. Let me reference if in case this becomes a clip uh, to uh, keep trying on them in case it failed. I mean, now I've got hundreds of all three of the air type of balls, the blue ones that go further. And I was totally down to just keep trying, so I experimented. Hey, Sam, how's it going? Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you for the like. Cheers. Michael, I think I cheers to you for the follow, but in case I didn't, I'm going to finish this beer for you. Cheers, mate. Give me a second. I store these outside, and it's like 10 degrees. Fahrenheit, not Celsius. Ah, delicious. Hometown muffin. Munch, munch. I guess the taste is fine.
Drink only once or twice a year. Oh, where I'm from, everyone drinks a lot. I don't drink as much um, as a lot of people, but I think they have a couple beers here on the stream. Just relax. A couple beers here on the stream is never enough to do anything to you. It's like drinking water or soda or anything else. Is drinking not as popular of a thing in Australia or just maybe not in your region? Is just something you don't like to do? I thought I've seen, for whatever reason, associated uh, Australians with liking to drink. Must be a certain party area or something out there. Do you have a mod on? It sounds echoey. No, there's no mod. It is big there. So I saw, I saw that somewhere. Echoey. Hmm. Don't know why that would be. Well, I don't because you're trying to lose weight. You know, I cut back a lot for that same reason. So that's respectable. Uh, I stopped drinking beer for a long time, and now I drink it in a very limited amount because the carbonation in it inflates your stomach. You want one tear of joy. You want one? Ah, Sam, I get what you're doing. Which, uh, <laughs> thank you for the 250 stars. Cheers. Do you, <laughs> I see it. What Sam was doing was he was leading me in to uh, a voice mod. It was a joke and I get it. Well played, good sir. Which uh, voice mod should I turn on today? Do we want that auto tuny one I had yesterday? Um, low, high, woman, baby, Pac-Man, what are you feeling? Cheers, by the way. Ah. Dawnstone. Dawnstone's what we need that we don't have. I can get another one of these cleavors. Baby voice? All right. Baby voice it is. Look at 
at this man hoarding candies. 50,000? That's more worth it to just earn it. Know what I'm saying? Now I mean, shop you. Gal, thanks for the light cheese. Okay. This might be the only thing I can do right now. Oh, this guy has to stay down in the basement? Lady? Must be trouble.
this guy's just stoic. I really hope that auto save. This is sadness in my eyes, ladies and gentlemen. Absolute, unhindering sadness.
I'm also just gonna save. After that scare. Should be no match for my Torterra. From level 8 to 15, did you see that? Give me his charm and it'd be a shiny charm like Michael was talking about. When delayed is somehow almost caught my weird ear and levels. Not a good thing. Finally, a blue signal. Think I can make this? That's a cry. I hope I make this. Hello. Of course, I can take you back home. No problem, lady.
Lucky Black! Some stupid verse. No, I don't want to read that shit. I clearly did not pay attention to his health, nor did I understand the assignment. All right, it's almost triple the time on Baby Voice. It was fun. I'm going to turn it off for now. Thank you again, Sam, for the 250 stars to get us using Baby Voice. Now I want to go back. I don't know if I like it more that the first option is to go back or not. Because I always press B to not go back. I need one of these dawn stones. I need one of these ice stones. And at the moment, I could use a metal coat and a linking cord. So 
So really, I've only got out of all of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, like six things I need and I don't know how strong the word need is I'll come back I'm just gonna check out this place quick see if there's anything going on there because there was a new quest in Crimson, so maybe there's a new one in here in the Obsidian Fields. No, there's just this thing out there in the Grueling Grove, which is pretty far away. I don't need to go get that. Sam, thank you for the share. I appreciate it. Give me a second. I'm going to cheers you. I'm going to cheers the shit out of you. Cheers. Appreciate it, Sam. New area, here we come. We got an hour, but that's going to feel like not enough time here. What are you smiling for? Why is your mouth so open? You had a brain fart and you didn't share right away? That's alright, Sam. No big deal. It's the fact that you did it that counts. That's how you earned yourself one shoes. By the way, everyone has the correct answer tonight. I guessed it right, too. I mean, I, I feel like it's kind of a common-ish fact. I don't know. If you're over there on YouTube, I guess I didn't say what the question was right at the beginning. If you're on YouTube, drop your comment. We'll say the real answer right at the end. But uh, the question of the night is, what is the largest living structure on Earth? Is it an endolith, a great barrier, or the great barrier leaf, a great sequoia, uh, redwoods, those giant trees, or uh, armillaria sol solidipes? I'm not good with some of these sciencey words. That's kind of like a creepy hand right there. That's kind of cool. Fire spit island up here. Lava dome. So this is where we got to do the fight. So it's going to be some kind of fire type. Hence why we've got all these water types to catch here to help us get uh, ready for them. So three caves. I think we ought to start by going down here. We'll get this and this. Check out this area because this seems more important. And then we'll move up here and get this stuff. And there's this whole rock area we got to follow along. And then the inner grass area. And then we've got to explore all these different regions of the water. See what else is different in all of that. Well, hopefully Drifloon evolves soon because I'm going to have new things to uh, Pokédex here pretty soon. I think I am going to put all my shinies in a shiny box just for fun. Whoa, a new tune. Getting some tunage. Once I get the water, mount, whatever that is, we're going back to the other two areas and we're completing those because there's some areas we can't get to. I do love the flute. It feels as if its tones carry 
to the very ends of space. You're gonna battle me? Lady, listen to yourself. You can't win, it's not worth it. What? What? Are you two on wanting me? You cheeky bitch. That's what you get. Oh, I call this no mercy. Yeah, I guess I should see that coming. You know, in the old games, ghost types weren't completely ineffective on normals. But, uh, here we are. Lady, I beat you just like I said I would. Now I feel better now that I just got absolutely whooped. What are you talking about, Willis? You're wearing your cape wrong. It's supposed to go around your shoulders. The sooner I help her, the sooner I can explore the oceans. However... Okay. You wanted this. Just remember that I didn't want this. You did. What is with all these guys? Everyone's trying to fight. I've done nothing. I 
I keep forgetting to do agile style. Bye. He ran real fast. Okay. How could you see me? You're a liar. And a cheat. Almost nobody I can put out here that he can't mess up. As a bug type, he can take out two of my guys. And with that dark move, he can take out everyone else. I literally, of my five incredibly different um, types of Pokemon, this guy has two types of moves that can crush everybody. And he's weaker than all of them. Lower level. Dead. Nothing I can do. Crunch is Typhlosion, that's over. As yeah, someone's just gonna have to fall on the sword here. Now I get the XP. Stupid Drapion. got those things we need. Got two. If we catch one more, that's four. Defeat with fire moves. There's one. Okay. Now they all want to fight. I will defeat you all with fire side moves. That should complete your Pokédex. All four of you, let's go, line up. Come on, ladies. That's not the one I wanted to hit, but he's not looking at that one. I don't know if Typhlosion's just got a lazy eye or what. I wanted to hit the ones that just up their stats.
Let's get him XP for this. Feel bad for leaving him out. See ya. That ought to finish that one, right? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yep, he's done. Whoa. This guy's feeling real tough. Oh, something new is feel. Let's see what comes out of here. Another Geo dupe. You know, they have to change at some point what comes out of there. <laughs> it's, I don't know, a little boring that the whole game is just Geo dudes. I know other things can come out of there, but like, will other things come out of there? Ooh, let's check our Pokedex on this guy. Caught, heavy ones caught, given food. What is it on the food? One, two, three, four. Pet caught. So why don't we try to catch a couple of them? We'll feed three times. Three times? Four times. Four times. I didn't eat that. Making me waste my berries. I was about to just catch him if he wasn't going to start eating something. Please eat the berry. Apex Machoke showing off his beach bod. Oh, he's behind me now. Ah! Bail. I don't have any lunch money. Even if I did, I wouldn't give it to you.
I tripped, I tripped, I tripped. God, I gotta stop stumbling on this hill. He hears it every time. That should have been in the bag. So now, unless we find a shiny. Peep block, ball of mud. What are these things? Why am I getting crap? And I'm not going the direction I wanted to go. Might as well finish the shoreline here, though. They say. That was smooth, that was smooth. Let me guess. Geo dude? Stop, please. What have I done to you? Cheap shot. Cheers, by the way. Kind of behind here. Cannot throw that far. Hmm. I hope I can throw while on the mount. Okay, there's a way up this, and I'm going to find it.
shenanigans. I hate that you gotta really cheese your way up some of these hills. Maybe if you get the flyer, it doesn't matter. That's probably like end game. It's like looking at me right in the face. I want that wisp. There's usually like a little landing spot you can get on somewhere and kind of help you up, you know? Or maybe there is a kind of looks like it's right here. Oh. Wow. Not without trouble, but we got it. So I'm trying to tell if that looks like an Elvis head. But I think I have that thing already. You know what, I'm pretty sure I got it. Now that I've wasted a lot of balls. Alright. Whoa! No! It got away! Oh shit! Michael, sorry, I didn't even see you were back. Um, Iron in the Ocean, there's a claw there. If you, uh, certain Pokemon, when you surf through it, unlocks a legendary. I read that in Pokemon Shiny Pearl. Oh, all right, so I did not know that. Throw the ball of mud at Pokemon. I know I should. I generally don't. But I should do it more. Catch three or four flying for a task. Yeah. At the moment, anyway, I'm just doing the Pokédex. I don't know if catching the Shinies or... Catching all the Shinies is too important. I'll just catch the ones I find at the moment. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I need to catch one of these. And I know I've got that one. I'm a little mad that there was that cat. Oh, there's another cat. Glam meow. Alright, I've seen that one before. Maybe in sword or something. Catch, catch without being spotted. Given food. I thought giving food was going to be one. I just didn't do it. Well, you spotted it. I guess I didn't see it right away. Another one. Might as well continue the catching without being spotted while it's sleeping. Perfect. I'll feed a few. Catch one more. Let's check that again. I thought it was rare because it ran away. Sometimes there's only one of the things in the area. All right, so two, four, that'll be six. Feed it two times. Should be good.
Nice. There's not as many new things as I thought there'd be, but it's a pretty good amount. Oh, shit. Just giving me these feather balls? Not bad, not bad. Rest quick. Put some stuff away. These guys really still don't have the moves I need. Like wood hammer and something else. This guy needs... I can't remember some fighting move. Hmm. That's unfortunate. But figured uh, while I was waiting I might evolve shiny Drifloon here. Alright, so these guys are poison bugs. Let's put them with the bu uh, poisons. Actually, this guy will move down here in the need to work on area. I don't know if you saw it. That might be a good one. But uh, I got the <laughs> these guys done in basically one fight. I caught one of them. And then there's beating them with fire moves. And four of them fought me at once. I had Typhlosion. Yeah, that went really well for me. Glam meow, three normals. Oh boy. Can we swap whole boxes? Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. Put the unknowns back here, shinies in there. I'm gonna have to do some rearranging here. Normals are gonna need two boxes. I think bugs should go next, because they're just kind of more common. And you might need an extra box. And we'll do some rock. Actually, maybe poison. Bugs, poison, grass. They kind of all go hand in hand. Fighting's kind of normal-ish. Eevees can go back here. Water, fire... Oh! Lightning. And we'll do ghost and psychic. The glam meows can move to the new box. Oh, King Machoke. Are these both men too? Oh boy. I guess he's up for trade. All the names remain the same. That'll be confusing. I'll have to actually maybe rename the boxes if I can. Okay, I can. That'll be on the list. Okay, that'll go there. That should be fine. Professor, pay me, pay me my monies. Look how much money you get when you get to the ninth star.
close combat. It's so close. Drapion. I'm sure he's got cross poison. Venoshock. We'll get through him pretty quick. Hyper Beam and Hydro Pump. I don't know if he's got any of that. We'll see. Let me just check this one more time. He's got Hydro Pump and Hyper Beam. Holy shit. All right, so when I pull them out, they'll have the right moves, and I won't forget later. That's big. Alphas are good that way. I Yeah, I've seen that they either have moves that that Mon typically wouldn't have, or they just have everything you need. Which, hell yeah, I'll take it. Cheers. Whoa. The big glamio. I was really hoping I didn't just hit that, but. Is he just trying to run? I thought I finished those. I just wanted to check that. And now that I know they're out there, so giving a food is going to be one. Okay. Why I wait for the moves when we can just feed it three times and catch two? Perhaps. I know it spawns now, so hopefully. I'll see more. That the claw you were talking about? Must be. It's kind of like a can't miss a thing. Alright, let's see what's going to come out this time. Oh, it's the Trash Fermi. When I looked it up online, this is what I saw. They called him the Trash Version. I was like, huh. All right, well. Looks like cotton candy to me, but I guess it's trash. Oh, whoa. Motham, didn't know you were in this fight. I guess there's no way to ever get the shiny Typhlosion, then. You can do most of the stuff, just... I mean, unless they're catchable later. Maybe they are. Oh well, I guess I'll find out eventually. At the end. Alright. Hmm, that's different. I wondered when that was even in here. Like, so why would anyone ever trade you their starter right from the get-go? What are the chances that there's people out there just doing that for... I mean, out of the goodness of their heart. So it would be next to impossible unless... It's 
something you can do later. Heat block! Hold first, come on. All the starters. Oh, good. You get to kind of see what you missed out on. It's kind of like Sword and Shield. You just keep trading with people and eventually you'll get, uh, oh, bred versions of their starters. Got us a hut out here. Keep on. I use a Pro Controller, and I have the NYXI controller coming. Oh. I have a Pro Controller. I got kind of, it's kind of like an Xbox controller. It's a Spyro one. I love Spyro. It's one of my favorite games. One of the first games I ever had, in fact. So, I had to go with that. It's similar enough. It does the job. And I don't play anything competitive on here. Food and captures and fighting. Think I skipped over that? Yeah, I uh, I guess I never actually played it on Switch. I had it on PS1 back in the day, and I got it on Xbox when they remastered it. And I've played it like 100% through three or four times uh, since it came out with the remastered. They're just such good games. Talking about the controller question. What was the question? What controller do I use? Oh! Power A? I don't know. Um, just something I found online. I just liked the design on it. I thought the design was cool. And I got it. Eh, it's pretty much like an Xbox controller, except for it's got buttons here on the back that you can program. So I programmed A and B in, which is kind of more of a nuisance than anything. Unfortunately, because I accidentally press those things all the time. So we got one, two, three, four. Catch that. That'll be five, six. Beat it again. Seven. I did get like what I thought was a maybe not a pro controller, but it was like an Xboxy one uh, once before. But I had to search for the controller every time with a different controller. I'd start the console, I'd have to go to the parts where you find your controller every single time for it. It was like, I don't know, less than half the price of the normal two small controllers. So pretty cheap, I mean, not like free cheap by any means, but not as expensive as regular controllers here, and uh, the fact that I had to connect it every time was just too much. I said I can't do that, and I'm not doing that. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, so I've seen it use double hit. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hell yeah. My math's not totally way off. We are done. EB Games sell for $99. Australian dollars? Holy shit. 
I don't know what the currency difference is. But it sounds like a lot. Hey, what time is it over there? Out of curiosity. So you're nearly the other side of the world. Would that be 12 hours? 12 hours difference? So would it be almost 9? Lunchtime? Ugh. 15 hours difference then. From where I'm at. 112? Oh, wait, my bad. 16 hours. Do I have a mud ball for my friend here? Do do I have to hit him in the back? Probably helps to actually hit him, huh? Don't worry, I'll leave in shame. it is only 843 over here I guess there's a little extra time difference can't see me I'm behind the tree okay he could totally see me still totally see him. Play Pogo? The card game? Right? That's a card game, isn't it? Pogo? Um, if it's the card game, or you mean Pokemon Go? I'm piecing it together. Playing Pokemon, Pokemon Go makes more sense. Um, <laughs> and there you said it, yep. Uh, I have played it, man, probably 2017 when it came out. So it's been about five years, but I used to play it a lot. Um, it was a lot of fun when it first came out. I'm sure it's more fun now. But, uh, I got my fill on it, caught as many as I could, had a few heartbreaking events, like I had a polyrath in my living room, and just no matter what I did, couldn't catch it, it ran away, I was so pissed. Um, so I haven't played it in a long time. But I used to, for sure. It was a lot of fun. The upgrades for COVID have made it better. Oh, I've heard that you don't really have to go out and about as much anymore. You can raid from home now, which is cool. Nice. Came out 2016. Was it 2016? Okay. That's even older then. Hard to think about that far back. It's been out that long. Yeah. Uh, so I played it that summer a lot. I think I played it for like most of a year um, after it came out. Did a lot more walks 
than I do now. It definitely uh, made me exercise more. I caught a lot, and then my pursuit was all over once. It was only like the end of summer by the time somebody finally caught them all. The guy who literally traveled around the world to the different continents so he could get all the stuff. Just wild. Wild. Oh, how far people would go. But you know what? If he was like streaming or doing it on YouTube or something. Hey, I'm pretty famous, I'm sure. Also, you gotta have all that free time and all that money to just blow. So it's like someone who's already rich. Nice. Oop, let's get this. And let's head on back quick. The rest of Gen 1 came out two to three years later. I thought it was only Gen 1 the first year. After he traveled. Well, I'm sure he could always go back. If you got that kind of dedication to go around the world, do you even stop, you know? Do you just keep going? I would think you would just keep going. How could you stop? I think I had a Snorlax in my living room, too. That was interesting. Alright, let's get rid of these guys. And Paris. Put these guys up here. These guys down there. Right there. There. Right there. That's how I want to do this. Oops. Okay. These guys are normal as well, I assume. Yep. We gotta evolve one of them. Allegedly. So maybe we'll hold on. Since they apparently evolve. Actually, until his Pokédex is done, we'll put him there. Put him in the shiny box. Whoops. There you are. Shiny box. There we go. Nice. They don't release all the Pokemon for all the generations. Ah, okay. They have released the first two generations that you can't complete. Only the first two? After all these years? It's kind of surprising. Take this guy out. We can finish his moves real quick. I need to, hold on. I don't know, Apom. I mean, I know him. But I don't know his evolution or when he does it. it. Looks like he evolves in one level. In fact, oh, after he learns double crit. Oh, shit. He already did that. I'm probably evolving right now. <laughs> Speaking of. They skip sun and moon. 
You know, I never played those. I never had a DS. So I missed out on a lot. I missed out on Diamond and Pearl, which I finally got to play when they remastered it here. Um, Sun, Moon, XY, Black, White, Black, White 2. Ooh, hold on. So A Palm's hella done. A Palm Bomb. Hot double hit, strong moves. Yeah, maybe we'll just finish up with him quick. Probably gonna be nothing new out here. So there was a lot of new ones I learned in um, Sword, which is all I played. I thought about getting um, Shield, but I can't really trade with myself, and that was always... The only thing holding me back from completing it all was trading. I never had like a, a real trading partner, I've known several people who have it, but... Speaking of a pom bomb, so there's only like a, a couple I need to finish. There's like the apple one from Shield. Um, I remember that was a big pain. And a few other things. So that's two, four, five. If I do the double hit three times, the seven, nine, iron tail once. Do I have those? Yes. Absolutely. <sighs> he still hasn't learned a new move. It's kind of annoying. People do random trades in that game, and tell you what, I must have done a couple hundred random trades. I did random trades all the time. Tried to do designated trades where I was like, I've got the apple dragon one, the flying one, and I needed the ground one that's kind of more of like the Torterra looking guy. And I'd put him up there, and just nobody wanted to do the trade with me. I couldn't I couldn't make it happen there was a couple other shield only ones I couldn't get but I got all the um, all the DLC ones and I can't remember there was like the fighting bear that had two styles the dark and the water two four six eight ten okay perfect excuse me he's done And I did the dark one. I don't know if it counted to have both. Not. Probably not. Because I think it's still the same name. I always wondered how good the water one was. It felt like such weird options. Oh, Happiny? Right? Yeah, I got you. A level 42 Happiny, though. Oh. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I just never got, uh, the couple I needed, and I just kind of gave up. No, come back. Get in my belly. Okay, well... Would you uh, eat some of this? He's a little sus. Got him. 
the DLC were a letdown because of how short they were. I thought so too. I thought for sure they could have done more with it. I enjoyed them for what they were. But they definitely could have been longer. I did the snow place one last. And I kind of like that. It was kind of interesting. I like that there was the... Oh, gold duck. I mean, I've already gotten complete, but I don't have an apex. Um, yeah, they didn't count for your Pokedex, but you could get, like, any game's legendary, pretty much. I thought that was a cool little addition. Nope. She really sees me up here and is just yelling at me? Please come see me when you have a moment. Rude. What makes her think I have a moment to find her construction man? And I feel like everyone just signs you up for <laughs> tasks here. Nobody really asks you, do you want to do these things? Hey, you're a 15-year-old boy with spunk. You've got time to help me out, right? Great. Anyway, so here's what I need you to do. Just ridiculous. They're lazy. They are! They're all lazy! <laughs> and you said that the legendary portion was okay? I liked it. Um... Like I said, I, it would have been nice if they counted towards the Pokedex like you felt like you were achieving something by collecting them instead of just having them. And then you kind of have so many legendaries that at a point it kind of dilutes them and dilutes the uh, meaning behind them. So like otherwise it's like, wow it's cool I have one of the couple only legendaries in the game. Isn't that great? And then now it's like, well, I've got a whole box overflowing with them. Does anyone else want uh, Lugia? Because I got three. So if I had any kind of a gripe, that's what it would be. Is It, it really watered down the value of legendaries. More for maybe PvP stuff, I guess. Which I don't really get into. That's a whole other ball game. I mean, the PvP stuff comes down to, what, reading for the right base stats, so that way you can build up the right stats. Um, and then getting them all the way up to level 99, all that training, all that work to get these absolutely perfect specimens for battle. Then you need the exact right moves. And you actually have to do defense. Oh. Shoot me now. I don't want to learn no defensive moves, no stat moves. I just want to hit them and go. Does a Pokemon Go had over 200 Mewtwo and three shiny of it? Oh, I bet you whoever got those shiny ones could sell them for a pretty penny. I thought they went to level 11, level 100. Ah. Um. You know what? I think you're right. I think it is 100. I've had 99 stuck in my head.
I like a Pokemon uh, LOA, giving them grit changes their stats. Yes. Yes. I thought that's pretty cool. I mean, it kind of sucks that their stats kind of suck because what is they call it upgrading their effort levels. So it kind of sucks that their uh, effort isn't there in the first place. But I think it's a cool um, addition to the game. I saw some articles somebody was already putting out their ideas for different regions and things they could do other Legends games in. This people must really like it. I mean, I love it. Shit. You're gonna let that side up get it. Up, you sit there and you shut up. All right, we got it. I hope they keep making uh, different Pokemans like this. This is the bee's knees. Not a peep lock. It feels like this peep lock thing. Real hard to get. They're making a DLC for it? That'd be cool. I'll play that. Caught, caught during daylight hours. I don't have any electrical types on me. Whoops, where'd he go? Catch another one during daytime hours. That'll give me up to six. Two, four, six. Seven, eight, nine. Defeat one. Defeat a couple. Oh, give it food. Hell yeah. Um, eat this. It'd be good if they bring out gym leaders. That would be interesting. I did like them moving away from the gym leaders. Personally, I, I thought that was a lot of fun. Gym leaders are great. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy it. I just liked it being about something different. Nice. I, I thought that might be something. Hey. Alright, 2, 4, 6. 8, 10, 12. Alright, I have massively overdone it. Nugget Pokeballs. Nice. You would have liked Sun and Moon. Then they didn't have gym leaders. They had Togen Pokemon, and they give you Z crystals. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know they ever went away from the uh, 
like for a mainstay game. This is kind of considered like a spin-off, but it's a mainstay. Let's be honest. This game's insane. Sorry about spelling, not the best at it. Nah, you're good. So long as I know what you're saying. And usually I can figure it out. Trust me, there's plenty of times I type something out, I think it makes sense, and it makes no sense. So you're good. How many hours have I put in the game? I don't know if it's a realistic number here. It says 43 hours. I have not put in 43 hours. I think that's just from the console being on in between time. I probably, I'm probably not far off from that. Probably put in at least 30 hours. Let me think. Um, let's see here. I've played 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 days times 3 hours uh, each. Oh, actually 8. So that's 24 hours right there. And I probably played another 3 or 4 hours last Sunday. I was just going around and doing some Pokedex stuff. Maybe like 28, and then I played a few before that. Before I decided to stream it. Because I hadn't really streamed Switch games before. Um, I mostly just played Xbox. I was having so much fun with this game. I was just like, oh, I just want to play more. Maybe I should just stream it so I can play it all the time. So, probably a little over 30, probably like 31 hours. You gonna fight me? What's happening? Whatever, I'll come back for you, Remoraid. You'll be mine. Done 78 hours and rushed through the story just to get Surf. Nice. I'm from uh, United States. And I'm like the north central of the United States. So I'm in I'm in the frozen tundra. Of the states. Not the coldest area, but one of the coldest. Susan, thank you for the like. Cheers. I hear you. I probably could have rushed through the story. To get served. But I've just been obsessed with capturing and completing everything first. New move! Maybe the move that I'll finally get him. Whoops. Out of my team. Not that I don't like Torterra, but. Woodhammer. Oh, thank God. That's exactly what I need. Must be cool making snow people. <laughs> yeah, I used to do snowmen all the time as a kid. I haven't had to do that in a while. Had to or wanted to, I should say. It depends. You need the right kind of snow. Now, I know you get no snow, but did you know that there's many kinds? There's solid snow that's more hard and icy. There's packing snow, which is a little more wet. Um, there's powder snow, which is you know, just powder. It won't... The wind can blow it away like sand, and you can't bunch it up into a ball by any means. So only when you get the wet snow can you actually pack it together and really make a snowman or anything like that. Powder snow, you can do the snow angels pretty easy. We got four inches. So 
I know your metric system, so that doesn't make as much sense. Whatever the conversion of four inches of snow coming tomorrow. And I think I was telling you about that. I was telling somebody earlier. That we had like a quarter inch of ice over everything. Our houses, the cars, the roads, the trees, everything uh, yesterday. So we got a nice layer of ice and a nice layer of snow on top of it, which means it just buries the ice and you still slip and slide around both in your car and on your feet. I think last week I uh, <clears throat> may have slipped on some of the snow out there. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did. Maybe it hurts really bad when you fall on ice. But it happens. Gully of the Supply Corps wants you to find the missing Yorich and tell him to return to where she's waiting. He doesn't seem to have gone to Deadwood Haunt. Deadwood Haunt. Oh, okay. Let's take a Deadwood jaunt over to the Deadwood haunt. Like no one said dad jokes were good jokes. Australia. Australia sounds cool. Other than everything trying to kill you all the time. Um, it's definitely one of the places I've always wanted to go to. The beaches look cool. I mean, the uh, deserts kind of look cool. I guess I wouldn't want to be caught out in one for too long. Despite the fact that it's all trying to kill you, the wildlife there is extremely cool. Because it's literally like the land uh, that life forgot because it's so vastly different compared to everything else. Oh, I have gone so far. Much farther. Maybe this map's a little smaller. Like, you guys have the kangaroo problem everywhere. We got deer. It's almost the same, except for ours aren't so jacked, muscular, tall. Oh, it dust claps. I panicked, alright. Doesn't matter, I caught him. Still got it. Another dust claps. Caught, caught at night. Oh. Woo. No dust skulls, though. I could defeat too. Let's see what happens. Damn, I missed what you said about making snow, people. Because my mate called? Oh, no problem. I was just saying there's all these different types of snow, so you can't even make it most of the time, depending on what you get. Some years we don't even get enough snow. Or we'll get enough snow uh, cumulatively. 
but uh, it'll snow melt, snow melt, snow melt, so. Oh, was saying I want to go to Australia. <clears throat> Maybe after the whole COVID thing is done worldwide. Cheers. Seems like your lockdowns down there are pretty, pretty good lockdowns. Pretty stiff. Dang, everyone's just getting torched by this thing. It's not even close to as strong. Depends on where you are, that's probably true. Um, you got a lot of kangaroos by you? Are they like all over the place or are they just in certain areas? How bad is that population? Actually, after those wildfires, is the population of your wildlife pretty good still or is there not much out there? Two, four, six, eight. Can defeat one with ghost moves. Here we have had two lockdowns and one because some guy was working at a pizza bar. Oh boy. Now that sounds like a good story. Cheers. That's a lie about the kangaroos. Um, they're more country. Ah, uh, okay. So you must be in the city, so they're just... They're out and about doing their own things, but... Unless you're in the countryside, which... I don't know how much of a reason there is to go out in the countryside over by you. If it's all desert-like. And maybe it's not even desert-like. I don't know. I guess it depends. Like, the coastal areas, if I've seen the map right, are pretty much all green. And then there's, like, the huge chunk of the dead center of the continent that's just... Uh, desert. Where's this clown hanging out? Ooh, okay. Caught, cut at night, caught at night without being spotted. I see nothing. You install carpet and you go all over? Oh, okay. So sometimes you have to see him. Must not be too often, though. Where is this guy? Back on the ship? Okay. I was like, the ship would be the most obvious place. Sir, I have to talk to you about your extended warranty. Look at the pole.
Oh my god. You little devil. Good eye. I thought that's where the person was for this camp. Gully of the Supply Corpse wants you to find the missing Yorich and tell him to return to where she's waiting. He doesn't seem to have gone to Deadwood Haunt. Dot, dot, dot. Which, like, indicates that he has gone there? Which is where I'm at, where I've been, where I'm going. He's further up, okay. Like one of the fingers. Oh, we fighting. Sort of. I think he was around Chansey. Chansey, okay. Or around the middle. Okay. Wow, really? How do you see me? Because there's nothing to hide in. head back towards where the chancy was I don't fully remember but I think it was along this left side or on the other end wow there's togepies everywhere Oh, the Chansey on the island. Chansey was on the island. That's right. In the complete opposite direction. Yes. Took my brain some thinking there, but... Nope, hello. I was so close to. I bailed, thinking it chance he was somewhere else. Talk, talk. Hey, actually, let's go Torterra. Hit him with another wood hammer. I'll chat out your nasty. Terry, you're fine. Kangaroos are more in wildlife parks than in the wild. Oh, really? Huh. I guess, you know, all I have to go off of are videos that people post, which gives you a really skewed look at what it's actually like. I 
guys. Alright, so we're just going to do some more final things here. I am half an hour past uh, how long the stream normally goes. Just because I, I knew as soon as I entered a new area, it was going to be a... I was going to be stuck on here. Not stuck, but... I wasn't going to be able to get off. I'm too, it's too fun. We don't really have them as pets as well. I didn't think anybody had them as pets. There's got to be some crazy ass people out there though that are keeping them as pets, right? There's got to be. Because why, why wouldn't there be? You're right, yeah. You know, I grew up... Uh, and there's no lions here. Let me preface what I'm about to say with... There's no lions uh, African lions in North America. And I grew up with a guy who had a lion right down the road from, uh, my friend's house that I grew up in. Well, not, I didn't grow up in. I grew up at my buddy's house, hanging out with him there. And he had a giant boa constrictor and all kinds of stuff. And I was like, you know what? I probably would not have hung out with you there had I known that your neighbor had a fucking lion just in his basement. But he did. He did. I'm in one of the few states where so long as it's not an endangered species, um, you can have it. Ooh, okay. These two might stay here. It's just extremely expensive. incredible it's incredible i don't know why i started talking about that either i don't know where that came from we're talking about crazy animals i guess which those kangaroos probably aren't crazy to you but <laughs> to me they kind of are oops Dust skull, we still gotta kind of work on. Let's put him back. I don't think he's done. He's probably not done. Make sure I didn't catalog somebody here that needs to be worked on yet.
No? Okay. Whoops. Go up here. The drug dealer has a lion, and if you have a lion, no one messes with your stash. That's true. What is that, uh, Grandma's Boy? Because someone might mess with a dog, but nobody messes with a lion. This one is Z. Okay. X, Y, Z. I did not space that out right. I was wondering. Didn't mean to do this. Oh, you already said that. Sorry. Pfft. I guess that's where Grandma's boy got the lion thing from. Well, we're on the same wavelength there. <laughs> Remo Raid. Can I take the weaker one of these? Nah, I'm not going to do that. Swap them out. I've got two quillfish here for some reason. These are my to be worked on. Tortera has got to be done. Good movie. A great movie. One of my favorites, in fact. Two, four, five. He's done. Thank God. I have gone right past him, haven't I? Tomorrow we'll work on, let's do these guys. Cause they already got the moves. Oh, 23. It's amazing when you go to a new area how much you start catching. Per ugly. <laughs> okay. So I just feed one ten times and catch another one, whatever, that's fine. That'll be done. Maybe I'll just feed it five times. G two, four, six, eight with the extra catch. If it's heavy and it didn't spot me, that's ten. That one just gotta do the moves, I'm sure it's got it. Caught two barbarage strong style. Pfft, easy. Charge beam, evolve, defeat, we'll do all those. Hex, evolution, probably pretty close to evolving as they are. Oh, that's about all I can do there. So I'm going to move myself here, and then I will call it a night since I am now... 40 minutes past the time I normally stop. Have you got all the unknowns from the village? I do. I have all the ones that I'm able to catch. I did pull up a map and caught them all because, let's be honest, there is no way a normal person would ever find some of those unknowns. No way. 
The one on top of the magic carp around the back that you can only see from a certain angle and hit with a feather ball or a jet ball or something like that. Pfft, no one would ever find that. Not a chance in the world. So anyway, it was a great stream. It was a lot of fun. Michael, thank you for joining us. Thanks for following. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, feel free to drop a like um, mm -hmm. if you have not yet. Uh, let's see here. So the question of the night, and of course, Michael, you would know this. It turns out everyone knows this, in fact. Is it, what is the largest living structure on Earth? Is it endolith, Great Barrier Reef, Great Sequoia, Sequoia, sorry, Sequoia, or is it an Arm Ilaria Solidipes? Can't believe I said that correctly. Anyway, uh, everyone pretty much got it correct. It was the Great Barrier Reef, 100%. Congratulations to everybody. Well done. Going to Commodore's office. All right. I'll do that tomorrow and check it out. See what's going on in there. I'll have to go back and report some of these quests anyway. Um, so let's do some shout outs quick. Uh, thank you, William, for the like and share. Thank you, Kayla, for the like. Jason Jones, thank you for the like. I believe that's new. I've not seen Jason Jones around. Marcus, thank you for the like and share. Good to see you back, buddy. Uncanny, thank you for the like. Uh, Mike, thank you for the like. Levon, thank you for the like. Michael Payne, buddy, thank you for the follow and chatting along with us. Cheers to you. Good having you here. Hopefully we'll see you again. Uh, Sam, thank you for the like, the share, and the 250 stars. Jow, thank you for the like. And Susan, thank you for the like. Appreciate all of you. Walk through the door and you can see the magic cart better. Through the side door. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. I didn't know that. I'm looking around at the outside of the building because I kind of had the map. I knew where they were. I maybe would have seen three of the how many you saw I have without the map. It would have taken me ages that I just don't have to scour the maps to find them. No way. So I'll get them all. But I'm going to be a little cheaty to do it. So anyway, uh, that's that. That was a great stream. We did almost four hours. We did a lot. Uh, have a good day, buddy. Michael, enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to bed. <laughs> you know, it's night here. It's 9.40 p.m. Um, so back it up 40 minutes and those three hours before your time. So let me think. Like somewhere between 10 and 2, since it seems like your minutes don't line up perfectly. Um, are the times I'm on your time. Uh, I'm on 6 to 9 Central Standard Time for anyone else. And if you don't know, if you're in a different time zone, Google it. Um, and we'll be back on tomorrow to do more Pokemons, explore this area, catch everything we possibly can to complete that Pokedex. Honestly, we don't have much to do to complete the Pokedex, so not too bad. Anyway, thank you again, Michael. Thank you again, everybody else who uh, liked, shared, commented, stars, uh, all of that. If you're over there on YouTube, I see you. Thank you very much for all your likes, your uh, subscriptions, and your comments as well. Uh, we'll be back on tomorrow then. See you guys then.